Okay, we're home. This little one is out of it. Oh, hi, honey. We even, because of the anesthesia, she has like no bladder control right now. She's peed on the couch like three or four times. We finally got smart and put some plastic down in a towel and now we're... <laughs> Hopefully she'll start to come out of it soon. Poor oh, baby. Okay, so we finally have a diagnosis. It's not... It is an autoimmune disorder. <laughs> but it's not panis. And at first she thought it was. She was convinced it was our vet. And uh, <clears throat> then she got in contact with a colleague of hers that is a specialist in eyes. And he said, actually, it's not panis. It's something called, let me see if I can say this out loud. It's NGE is the short name for it. Um, but it's an, it's called nodular granulomatose epicillar, <laughs> epicill, epicillaritis. I'm not quite, I don't, we're just going to go with NGE <laughs> and it's kind of similar. It's a, also an autoimmune. It's more, it sounds like, um, this specifically says collies are overrepresented, but NGE can occur in any type of dog. Um, most affected dogs are young to middle age, and typically it is not painful. So that's good news. She tested her eye pressure. Her eye pressure is fine, so that's really good news. She was a little bit on the dry eye side, so it's I wonder almost we're thinking we're going to investigate into that a little bit and see if that can affect the severity of this NGE. Um, it's also a long-term prognosis where she will have to be, uh, it's actually the same treatment as Panis, which is um, for her, it'll be an eye cream instead of drops because I can actually get those in. Oh, she's falling asleep sitting. Just lay down, honey. <laughs> um, right now, the eye that's really bad that has actually gotten worse, um, and I'll show you guys a picture, but I'll give a warning before I, I do it. They were able to take like a really good picture of it. Um, I guess one of the distinguishing factors is that like, there she goes, slowly, slowly. <laughs> Panis doesn't bulge, it's flat, and she's got this big bulge on the side of her eye. So that's like why they've ruled that particular thing out. Um, let's see, she will, so she is, for now, we're doing in the bad eye, uh, steroid cream to get the inflammation down. And then on both eyes will be the, um, the immunosuppressing cream that will be part of her treatment probably for the rest of her life. Um, we have to start doing it in the other eye too because it will probably develop and they actually, she actually said um, she's starting to see it a little bit in that eye. So uh, our goal is comfort and to maintain her vision. She'll probably always have some kind of like spot on that eye but it she said it should look instead of inflamed it should look like a like quiet. Um, so we've, we're taking lots of photos to compare. So they, they documented a whole lot. We're going to keep checking back in regularly. Um, she wants to see photos of her eye in about three or four weeks so we can kind of keep seeing progress and documenting. Um, she has not actually ever diagnosed this particular, <laughs> this particular thing before. So it was really great to have this resource of this this eye doctor who is like, he's like an older gentleman. He's been doing it for years and years and years. So he really has seen a lot and uh, knows a lot. And they, they were kind enough to do a consultation with her over the phone and he even called her. And um, yeah, so that's the game plan. Let's hope those steroids take the inflammation down. 
it puts her at a little bit of a risk for developing an eye infection because we are suppressing her immune system in her eyes, but um, she, she uh, the steroid cream also has an antibiotic in it, so we should be okay. Yeah. Um, at some point we might discuss switching to an oral, but I'm not quite sure that's what I want to do because then we're suppressing her immune system like systemically. Um, and I would rather just have it in the eyes if we can get away with that. We'll see. It also depends on how she keeps tolerating the cream, if it irritates her or what not, but oh baby. She is Hi, Mason. Are you wanting some attention to? Oh yes, you definitely want some attention to. He is currently, Harrison was so kind and made me dinner tonight. He made me the perfect grilled cheese sandwich and Mason is trying to help clean up after him. Mason, I hear you. He likes to counter, sir. So that is the deal. It is a long-term thing. There was no um, corneal abrasion or anything. So uh, whatever we, the scratch we saw, thank you, the first time has totally healed. And yeah, that was a good part. Mm-hmm. Uh, but, <laughs> and so now we just have to recoup and get our bladder control back from the anesthesia. And we'll be good to go. I'll let you guys know how she's doing uh, in the morning. And thank you guys all for your support and your concern for her. She is the sweetest thing on the planet. And I love her so much. I would do anything for that dog. Both of my doggles. Right? Yes. Okay. You guys have a good night. Bye. I can't turn it off because he's licking my hand. Oh my God. Mason, stop. I forgot to say... Uh, because we got a really good picture of it. If you like that kind of stuff, I am going to post the picture at the end of this little spot here. Uh, if you do not like stuff like that, now is the time to turn it off. <laughs> if you do, I'm gonna drop it in three, two, one.